Good morning. Let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today's Gospel reading is preceded by two other passages that the liturgical calendar does not include. But I think they are important to mention to get the full gist of what Jesus says in today's passage. In verses 22 to 32, Jesus, after curing a blind and mute demoniac, is accused of being in league with Satan. His response in verses 33 through 37 is in the form of an analogy. Good fruit is only produced by good trees. Bad fruit is only produced by bad trees. In verse 35, Jesus says, A good person brings forth good out of a store of goodness, but an evil person brings forth evil out of a store of evil. This may vindicate Jesus, but most certainly indicts the Pharisees as hypocrites. Yet this is also a warning to all of us as well. Jesus then says, by your words, you will be acquitted, and by your words, you will be condemned. This brings us to today's gospel passage. These same scribes and Pharisees then ask Jesus for a sign. They have heard and seen many signs. What they really want is to entrap Jesus, as we've seen in many other gospel passages. Their motives, at best, are questionable. Jesus responds with the following. An evil and unfaithful generation seeks a sign but no sign will be given it except the sign of Jonah the prophet. For anyone with an open mind, Jesus has been giving nothing but signs ever since he began his public ministry. The ordinary people have been full of praise and amazement at the miracles of Jesus, but these leaders, blinded by their own prejudice, are even saying that the teachings, exorcisms, and healings of Jesus are the work of Satan. Jesus gives them an unmistakable sign of who he is, the sign of Jonah. Just as Jonah was in the belly of the whale three days and three nights, so will the Son of Man be in the heart of the earth. A clear sign of his burial and resurrection. What follows is of great importance to us. The men of Nineveh repented at the preaching of Jonah. Jesus is far greater than Jonah. Do we repent at his preaching? Do we understand our calling as Christians? That we are called to holiness and not just moral nominalism. Complacency is one of our biggest temptations. To think, like the Pharisees, I am good enough is not good enough. Holiness is the goal. Amen.